Okay, so loading a flight plan onto the FMS here in the CRJ from our flight plan and clearance, we were cleared as filed. We need to start with where the aircraft is located. So we're going to put in our origin of Atlanta into the scratch pad, and then we line select next to origin on L1. We're going to go from Atlanta and load into our destination of Charlotte. Charlie Lima Tango onto the scratch pad and then put in our destination. We need to now go in each phase of flight in order to ensure there's no discontinuity in the flight plan. What you also see is that since we loaded Atlanta to Charlotte, we get an execute flight plan mode caution message on the flight plan. So from Atlanta to Charlotte, our first phase of flight is the departure, so we're going to load the departure procedure by going to departure arrival, noticing that it goes immediately to Atlanta departure, and then looking down the list on the left until we see the departure that we're going to do. Going from Atlanta to Charlotte via the Dogs 8 departure. When we line select Dogs 8, it puts it up here to the standard instrument departure, and there's no transition with this specific departure. Then on the right side, we're going to put the departure runway. We're departing from runway 26 left. So we need to scroll down using next page until we see 26 left, which is now on R1, and line select this. So if we're going to land in Charlotte via the Dogs 8 departure from runway 26 left. In the departure procedure, we come back to the flight plan page and we can see that it's populated on flight plan page one, Atlanta to Charlotte, runway 26 left, dogs eight to the last fix on the departure procedure. We can also load in our flight number for the flight by putting in our flight number in the scratch pad and then to load in the rest of the flight plan after the departure procedure, we're gonna to go to the next phase of flight, which is going to be the cruise section. We've gotta to go to page two to begin loading that. So it's Atlanta to Charlotte, 26 left, dogs eight to dogs, then to Greenwood, VOR. So we're gonna put Greenwood into the scratch pad and we're going direct to that. So I'm gonna line select R1, which says, do you wanna to go to this VOR? Do you wanna to go to that VOR? And we're gonna base it off of the lat long of the VOR we're using. So we line select L2 and it says that we're gonna fly direct to Greenwood. From there, we go to the arrival into Charlotte. So we've gotta press departure arrival twice to get to the departure arrival index and then line select R2 for the Charlotte arrival. We're doing the unarmed three arrival into Charlotte. So all the standard terminal arrivals are to the left. We're gonna scroll down using next page until we see the unarmed three. Now this unarmed three arrival has two transitions from Atlanta and then from Collier's. We're not going to use any of those. So we can go back to our flight plan page and then see how it's populated the rest of the flight plan. Atlanta, Charlotte, 26 left, Dogs 8, Spartanburg, direct to Greenwood, and then now we've got this discontinuity. We need to tag in the arrival to our en route phase of flight on the flight plan. And how we do that is we're gonna line select the first fix, unarm, from the arrival. That's gonna put it into the scratch pad and then line select it to the discontinuity. So that tags in and gets rid of the discontinuity from the cruise phase to the arrival phase. Now if you notice, when I was reading through the flight plan, it said Dogs 8 to Dogs and not to Spartanburg. So we need to get rid of Spartanburg and let the airplane fly from the Dogs fix to Greenwood. And how we're going to do this is we're going to go to the legs page. We go to the legs page and we can see every fix for the departures. And now we have three pages in the legs page. We can press the next page button page two or three, and there's Spartanburg, but we want to go from Dogs to Greenwood and skip Spartanburg. So we need to delete Spartanburg out of the flight plan. And to do that, we just press delete. That pushes it into the scratch pad, and then delete Spartanburg out, and it brings Greenwood up below Dogs. Now when we look at our flight plan, it says Atlanta to Charlotte, runway 26 left, 
Dogs 8 to Dogs. We go to the next page, direct Greenwood, direct to Unarm, the Unarm 3, all the way to the last fix of that arrival into Charlotte to the Locks intersection. One other thing that you should put in in terms of making sure that the fuel is accurate on the airplane to our destination and for the flight is that we should put in the destination on the last fix on the flight plan direct to Charlotte so that way the fuel is accurate when we look on the airplane and we're uh, determining fuel values. One other thing when we finish up the rest of the flight plan before we execute is we can check our distance. On the release it's going to give us a distance based off the flight plan and this value should be close to the distance from the FMS to the release. Once we're done with this we can review and verify it with our flight crew member and once they say that everything looks good then we can press the execute button and that executes the flight plan and you can see that now with the first fix being dogs 8 off the departure it's gone to magenta. One thing we want to do as part of the departure procedure and the uh, the departure takeoff briefing is we want to step through all the fixes on the departure procedure. To do that we're going to press the legs function button and go to the legs page and now we're going to change our MFD from the FMS map page to the plan page using the display control panel by going counterclockwise. Once we're on the plan page now we can use the arrows on the FMS to sequence through and center every fix on the plan page and verify via the chart each fix on the departure to the very end of the departure. And that's how you load a flight plan and that's how you step through the legs page.